John. Oh my God. I want whoever does this to be extremely careful. As careful as I am. Destroy this before you do the job. This is his office, and there's no exit or entry except on this little street here, and the people in the other buildings can't see who comes or goes. He works Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. How much cash does he keep there? Oh, not enough to make it look like a robbery. I want the police to find drugs. So, what time are you gonna be home tonight? Early, remember? I'm gonna take you out for Valentine's dinner. Just the two of us. Okay. Deal. So you think they'll figure it was a drug deal gone bad? If you do it right. Somebody, come on. I want you to shoot him in the head. When you walk out, I want him dead, not just wounded. Oh, I'll make sure it's done right. Hey, you. Hi. You gotta stay this cool if the police question you? I'm a well-known woman, prominent in the community. Who would think I had anything to do with it? When I have proof that he's dead and I see the story published in the papers, I'll pay you the rest. Just call me and say, hmm, the carpet's been cleaned. That's all I need to hear. Oh, 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 how soon? Soon. Soon. You guys just, you just take whatever you want, all right? Shut up! Hey, they're ready for you in the cath lab. Come on. Come on, move, move, move! Let's go! Thank you all for being here. Celeste Cooper is a graduate of Washington University where she was honored for her achievements as a young writer. She gave up a promising career to devote herself to being a wife and a mother. Having known Celeste for the past five years, I can tell you that she's shown the same devotion to serving her adopted community I, I, that she I once showed for her it. efforts in starting beautiful. a drug Thank prevention you, program. The Handicapped Children's Foundation's Woman of the Year, Celeste Cooper. Proud of you, Mother? Who wouldn't be? Need a ride? Thanks, I have my own car. Well, then, uh, how about dinner tomorrow? I don't think so. I've been really busy with work again. Next time, right? Maybe. I can hardly wait to meet the man that's going to make an impression on you. <laughs> so funny. You know, maybe Daddy and I should have bought you a bigger condo if we'd known you wanted a roommate. Mom, I barely have time to date these days anyway. Exactly. And that is why I'm here. No, 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 no. Yes, Not yes, a yes, fix yes. up. No. Oh, come on. Uh, just listen. A personal ad? <laughs> yes, just listen, okay? <laughs> nice, up-and-coming businessman wants to meet 
Equally no, smart. No way. Forget it. it. There's no. no way I'm going to answer one of these things. Oh, come on. Okay. That's the way you feel about it. Yes. Staff. Just a second. Oh, phone for you. Dr. Logan. Who is it? Dr. Logan. I don't know. Um, Ted, somebody, something. This is Laurel Cooper. Hi, I'm um, Ted Rogers. Who? You know, the nice guy that you wrote to. Is this a joke? What? Is this a joke? Um, no, the ad uh, in the paper that you answered, um, you know, uh, uh, it says you're an attractive professional woman, you like sports, you're seeking a committed relationship. Does any of this sound familiar to you? <laughs> nope, not even vaguely. Well, somebody had to write this letter to me. How else would I get your number? Is the writing really graceful, sort of curvy? I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess it is, sure. That's my mother's writing. Oh, kidding me. Nope. Sorry she wasted your time. Uh, no, wait, hang, hang on a minute. What? Wait, it says here that you, uh, you like to take long walks. Is that you or is that your mother? No, that's me. That's you? Yep, that's me. You're sure that's you? Yeah. It's not your mother. No, it's me. Okay, well. <laughs> well, what? Well, let me take you on a long walk. Um. No, I can't. I can't answer a personal ad. Come on, just beat me, okay? <laughs> Look, if we do fall in love, your mom can't embarrass you anymore by sending out any more of these stupid letters. <laughs> mom, I need to talk to you. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Go ahead. I got a phone call from Ted Rogers. You answered his ad. He called? Already? You sound like you won a prize. Maybe you did. Baby, he's wonderful. And maybe he's a serial killer. How could you when I told you not to? No, no, you said you wouldn't answer the ad. You never said I couldn't. Oh, well, that was implied. Oh, Laurel, these are the best years of your life. Don't let it die on the vine. Are you really that desperate to get me married? Of course not. So, what kind of business is he in? I didn't get that far. <laughs> Okay, um, not your type. Ted. Yeah. Ted Rogers. Oh, God, I'm so embarrassed. No, don't be. I, I hired him. I pay him to make me look good. <laughs> well, it worked. Oh, thank you. You want to Yeah. Oh, thanks. You don't. Look like the kind of guy I'd take out a personal ad. I did. But my mother answered an ad. That my mother wrote. No way. I was afraid to tell you on the phone because I thought it would just sound too weird, you know? How weird is that? There's actually two of them out there? I'm totally lying to you. Ew. No, the truth is I just work long hours and I don't get a chance to meet people. What do you do? Uh, why don't we order and um, if you want, I'll show you after done eating. Okay. Deal. My dad started the place from nothing. He worked days and nights and weekends. Funny is when I was a kid, I swore I would rather starve than get grease underneath my fingernails. But when I got sick, I had to drop out of college. And... I'm sorry? No, no, don't be. Um, I bought the place from you. Let me show you around. So I filled up on what he had a little bit. Oh, sorry, this is my brother's car. Watch out. Um, and I managed to buy the place next door, so I'll have room to expand. Let me show you that. I was looking all over for a bigger place when this opened up. 
There's nearly 3,500 square feet in here. As soon as I get enough cash together, I'm gonna get some new equipment, and I'm gonna hire some more mechanics. So big. What's so great about it? See this wall, and the, the blow out this whole wall, there's room for five bays in there. And over here, that's where my office is gonna be. Picture, it's gonna be clean, well organized, with a view of the whole shop. You see, I can really do things right here. I, I can make my customers happy, and I, I can keep them coming back. You know that you have really beautiful eyes. Can I kiss you? Looks like somebody had a good time. He did. He's so much cuter than I expected. He was smart, funny, and just really, really nice. It's just one problem. What? I have to admit it to my mother. <laughs> well, at least you're going to be able to get it over with quickly. She's already called twice. Oh, and your father dropped that off earlier. Oh, that must be the stuff he dug up for Mom's tribute album. She's gonna kill us when she finds out. I'm gonna turn in. I am on early tomorrow. Oh, and hey, I'm really happy for you. <laughs> Hello? Didn't Lynn tell you I called? No, did you? Okay, so what was he like? Are you sure you want to know? He was wonderful, wasn't he? You just don't want to give me the satisfaction. Okay, yes, he was wonderful. <laughs> Why do you sound so surprised? I told you so. Yeah, you're right. I guess I should have listened. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you, Mom. It's my pleasure, sweetheart. So, what kind of business is he in? Uh, auto business. Mm-hmm. How soon do I get to meet him? Well, next time I see him, if it feels right, yeah, I'll, I'll bring him by. Promise? I promise. So, what's he like? Did she finally land one of those doctors? Oh, better. He's an executive in the automotive business. And according to Laurel, he's doing very well. And that's what you're getting? Oh, of course not. I told you to give me the best you have, the Petite Basque. No, 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 no. The Ribichon. Definitely the Ribichon. That's a better choice, I think. Thank you. Hello? Hello? It's usually on time. George, don't you smoke that in here. No. Well, honey, maybe he got held up in a meeting. Is he coming straight from the office? He doesn't exactly work in an office. Oh, office, executive suite. It's all the same. That must be him. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. Somebody will change and, uh... We were beginning to think you weren't coming at all. <laughs> Mother, this is Ted Rogers. Hi, how you doing? I'm sorry to show up looking like this, but I was on my way home to get dressed, and this woman in front of me blew a tire. She had a couple of kids with her, so I, you know, I helped her push the car off the side of the road and change the tire for her. Well, good Samaritans are so rare these days. Huh? Hi, I'm Laurel's father. Hi, oh, sorry about that. I have a little elbow. All right. <laughs> I better get um, cleaned up first. Uh, luckily, I had my change of clothes in the car. Um, can I use your bathroom? Oh, of course. <laughs> Honey, would you please show him where it is? Yeah, it's so big. Oh, look at me. What do I feel like a jerk? <laughs> Don't. You heard it. You're a good Samaritan. It should be fun. <laughs> well, you're not saving it for him anymore, are you? Oh, sweetheart, you must be so disappointed. When he said he was in the auto business, he failed to mention he was at the bottom. He told me what he does, Mom. Oh, well, then I don't understand. You, you knew he was a mechanic? He's also a genuinely nice guy. Well, I can see oh, that, but... I hope I didn't leave too big of a mess in there. I tried to clean it up. Oh, I'm sure it's just fine. Uh, I've been looking forward to meeting you guys all week. You should hear how Laurel talks about you. <laughs> we have a very special relationship. I owe you a thank you. Well, if it wasn't for that letter you wrote, I never would have met Laurel. And I am just... 
I'm crazy about her. <laughs> and so are all the doctors she works with, <laughs> aren't they, sweetheart? Wasn't that dinner reservation at 7.30? When you're sort of late, maybe we should get going. Oh, well, I don't, I don't know. I, I think we could stay home. No, a don't while. hang out just for us. We know you both have to work tomorrow. <laughs> early to bed, early to rise. Well, maybe we can get to know each other a little better next time. Let's try. She's right. He's a nice guy. Nice. He's a pathological liar. My dad was deliberately misleading. Up-and-coming businessman, my ass. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Celeste? Celeste? will freeze over before he touches my daughter. What's his name? That's Buddy. <clears throat> he used to belong to the neighbors, but I would always pretend he was mine. You didn't have a dog growing up? No, my mother didn't want one in the house. Oh, man, you did live a deprived childhood. <laughs> See if we can make that up to you. You know, I fell in love with Nurse when I was 13. Oh, yeah? I guess. You fell off your skateboard and she made it all better. No, my grandmother was dying. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that supposed to be romantic? No, seriously, I was, um... I was afraid to go into her hospital room. No, lots of people are afraid of hospitals. There was just one nurse. She could tell. And she would take my hand and go in with me. She would sit with me the whole time I was there. She made it all right. That's how I picture you. It's a nice picture. dancing sort of short circuits your brain sure you ready for this <laughs> you're awake is um something wrong oh probably not sweetheart but i really think we need to talk <laughs> it's 11 o'clock oh drinking wine here let me get these for you honey i can understand why you like ted but i just want to make sure mom? you're seeing the whole picture mom not now now i'll admit he's charming but charming for a purpose he mom? did deceive us he mom? told us that he was mom. a successful businessman <sighs> his business is successful well, even if it is which we can't be sure of honey is it the kind of business that goes anywhere? <laughs> I mean, honey, all I'm Mom. saying is, don't you think he deserves Mom. to know that Mom. he doesn't stand a chance? Mom! What? He's in there. Oh. Well, we can talk about this later. 
Honey, I'm sorry I disturbed you. education to figure out that I'm not wanted. Well, I'm sorry. She just, she has ideas. She's disappointed you're not a doctor or a lawyer. Yeah? So am I. I understand. If I had a daughter like you, I would want nothing but the best for her, too. Well, we can work on her. She just has to get to know you. How about dinner? Better yet, I'll bring my mom. Well, can't hurt. Mom's usually on time. It's only been 30 minutes. She probably got caught in traffic on her way from work. Oh, she's a... Bookkeeper, part-time. Oh, that's nice. I don't know what I'd do without the woman who pays my bills. Neither do I. Thank you. Uh, and the wine looks to this? Okay. So, red or white? Who oh, you should choose. Well, this. Since we don't drink. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't know. That's okay. <gasps> Mom! I'm so sorry I'm late. Hi, honey. Oh, you look so nice. You too. Laurel? <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm so excited to meet you. You're just as pretty as Tess said you were. <laughs> George? Oh, yes, George. Hi. 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 And I'm Celeste. Celeste. It was so nice of you to suggest that I come. I just know we're going to be good friends. Oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> oh, look, we almost met. <laughs> yes. It's too bad your husband couldn't join us. Honey. Mom, I told you. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. You're divorced. I hope it wasn't too difficult for you. Oh, it was tame compared to Ted's. Mom. What? It's ancient history. Uh, maybe we should order. Hmm? That's yeah. a good idea. <sighs> oh, I'm afraid I can't quite... It's all in the... Um... French. I thought so. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, no, 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 not for me. Thank you. Harriet, you too. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm so water. sorry. Oh, Here's the soda water. Oh, that's you okay. You dip it in soda water, it'll come right out. Oh, thank yes. you. Yes, sure. oh, Harriet, sure. don't rub. Okay. Just dab. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. How was dinner? Oh, it's like Chinese water torture. Yeah? I'm sorry, we have some record of so you say you have no record of any Celeste Cooper at Washington University. And you checked her maiden name? Sorry, yes, we did. Well, that can't be right. And you tried the English Lit Department, too. Yes, we did. Well, if you wouldn't mind checking again, I'd appreciate it. Hold on, we'll check. Thanks. Well, that's weird. There must be some kind of explanation. Oh, you took in $1,500 more than last month. Okay, really? Hmm, yeah. Now you can afford to take us all on a cruise. So, Mom, you're gonna get your cruise, all right? You just gotta wait till I pay off this new machinery. We're gonna hold you to that, right, Laurel? Now, you keep that bandage on, all right? The nurse in order. I'm serious, it can get infected. You're so cute when you're serious. <laughs> now, I know my son. He really likes you. I like him, too. You know, I'm planning a surprise birthday party for him next month. You want to help me with it? I'd love to. Where are you going to do it? Well, I've been um, looking at some restaurants near my apartment. I want it to be nice, but I'm on a budget. Well, why don't we do it at my place? Oh, Ted says it's beautiful. You wouldn't mind? No, of course not. That'd be great. Don't listen, do you? Well, I can get back to the customer looking like this. You're... So you're going to do it, okay? Uh -huh. All right, there's a couple of spots right here. Yes, sir. Actually, it's probably going to get both of those. Okay. You really have a whole lot of experience with this, do you? Uh -huh. What's next? Nice? A little buffing. You know what you can do? Right. Hey, uh, you want to do this? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Laurel? Hi, Frank. My mother's 
Lincoln ready? We're just finishing it up now. <laughs> I'll bet you were. <laughs> Our ship leaves from Istanbul, travels down the Turkish coast, then we swing over to the Greek Isle, stop for a day in Sicily, and then end up in Monte Carlo. Ooh, what do you think of this? You really like that color? Will Laurel be going? Oh, no, no, she can't get that much time off. You sure she can? I forgot to tell you the strangest thing. My son said he saw Laurel Saturday at a garage. He was picking up my car. And she was picking up hers. What's so strange? He said she was working there, cleaning cars. Well, I told him he must have been mistaken. Why would Laurel be doing something she like that? She wouldn't be. But ma'am, I'd like to try this on. Was washing a car. Come on in, it's open. Oh, it's freezing out there. Oh, it looks like you're cooking for an entire army. Having a birthday party for Ted. Laurel, are you sure you should be taking that on? Why not? Well, I hate to say it, but you have been looking a little tired lately between your job and Ted. I'm fine, though. Father and I are worried about you. And that's why we are taking you on our cruise with us. Get some sun, have some fun, you come back totally rested. Oh, and since you'll need to dress for dinner, I got you some evening clothes. <laughs> I wish you would have told me a month ago. Then I could have gotten my work schedule changed around. I took care of that. I talked to your supervisor. Without asking me? Well, if I'd asked you, you would have told me not to. And I explained that this is the kind of trip that happens once in a lifetime. You asked for permission? What is this, third grade? Okay, honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I crossed the no, line No, you little. don't get it. I can't possibly go. I look totally unprofessional. This is about Ted, isn't it? Ugh, don't try and make this Ted's fault. But it is his fault if you weren't so busy throwing yourself at him. What you mean is, if it weren't for Ted, you wouldn't even have invited me on your trip. Someone has got to stop you from making a total fool of yourself. <sighs> Washing cars in some filthy garage. What are you, part-time help? Oh, so that's it. People are talking. It's bad for your image. It is your image I am worried about. Look what's happening to you. What? I'm a regular person. Not someone on your social register. You used to appreciate the things I did for you. I still do. And they're for me. Like I told you on the phone, that's all I could come up with on such short notice. You got a couple of trustees here for property bought and sold. You got marriage and divorce. I'm going to lunch. And this one's kind of interesting. It's a loan made to him by his in-laws for $90,000. That's a lot of money. Did he pay them back? I don't know yet. Look what his ex-wife said during the divorce, that he abused her and hit his stepson. Yeah, that's what she said. But that explains the loan. They were trying to make him happy to protect her. Look, I take all of these divorce accusations with a grain of salt. You wouldn't if it was your daughter he was after. I took a look at this house the other day, and I liked it. And if you like it, I want to put an offer on it. Come on. You can afford this? Yeah, no, it's a great deal. There's a fireplace, it's got yeah. a hardwood floor. Floors are nice. Yeah, I think they're new. Kitchen. 
kitchen. You come look at the backyard? Okay. Poppy! Come here, sweetie. Come on. Oh, look at him. It's a little buddy. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, sweetie. What you got here? Oh, hey, that's for you. Here, open it up. Hey. <laughs> Stuff in this family, huh? I don't. Who says I want him to? Hey, no, that's the skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Bye. Bye, Bye, sweetie. Bye. See you tomorrow. Nice to see you. Bye bye. Great party, and the food was delicious. Well, I had a great teacher. <laughs> see you guys. You going to see Raymond? Who knows? Don't wait up. I might not come home tonight. Bye. Have a good time. I'm sorry, my family's really out of control. Oh, no, they're great. To the future. What's up? Something really weird happened today. I called my mom's high school friend, Rosalie, and she said mom never went to college. She was working as a cashier when she met dad. Come on. You mean she lied about going to Washington University? And about the writing award she won there. And when I contacted the mayor's office in St. Louis, they'd never heard of the drug prevention program that she started. It's not possible. She's been lying about this stuff all along. Why would she? <sighs> Look, I'm sure there's some explanation. Just ask her when she comes back next week. up there. Laurel? Honey? What are you, what happened? I thought you were going back till Friday. Mm. Did you have a good time? Oh, we had a great time. <laughs> so, what's all this? Lynn moving out? She moved back in with Raymond last week. Oh. I was hoping to find a better way to tell you this. Tell me what? I'm moving out. Well, I, I, I don't understand. Where are you going? Um, I'm moving in with Ted. It was a very difficult decision, especially knowing how much you disapprove of him. Sweetheart, he's so wrong for you. Well, that's your opinion, and I respect it. But my heart is telling me... To act like a fool? And when it doesn't work out? What happens then? Who'll want you then? Mrs. Cooper, you're taking this all wrong. I want to marry Laurel. I want to marry her more than anything. But you told her not to rush anything. She's taking your advice. To move in with you. You can't possibly think I'd advise her to do that. You've got a point, Mom. We should either do this thing right or not at all. 
Great. Because you two can't possibly be ready for a lifetime commitment after just a few months. I think I am. Let's get married. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I can't believe you decided right in front of her. Neither can I. But once I did, it just felt right. I'm proud of you. Just don't back down. I won't. I don't care what she does. Laurel? Yeah? Your mother's outside. She says it's an emergency. What's the emergency? I respect your judgment, Laurel. And I was hoping that you would have convinced me that my suspicions about Ted were foolish. But I've had this information for a while now. I didn't want to show it to you. I was hoping you'd come to your senses. Did he tell you that he owes his ex-in-laws $90,000? It's $15,000 now. He's been making payments. Did he tell you that he beat his wife and his stepson? Those are accusations she made during the divorce. She would have said anything to get back at him. <laughs> for taking all her parents' money? Who can blame her? It's all right there. You had Ted investigated? I had to. It's a mother's job to protect her daughter. He has lied about himself from the very beginning. How many times have I listened to you brag about graduating from Washington University? I called the school mom. I've never heard of you. I don't know what you're talking about. And the award you got for starting that charity? A charity that never existed? Giving up a promising career to raise me? A career you never had. Ted put you up to this. No. Oh. You have no right to judge Ted. You can't even be honest about yourself. box of stuff that she was using for the trivia. She's finished already? You better ask her about that. I will. Nice to see you. Celeste! Celeste, you here? I'm in here. In my bedroom. Hurry. Help. Celeste? What happened? He wanted the money from our charity to pay for the wedding. Oh, my God. I know it's not the first time. He told me if I wanted to see Laurel, I'd have to pay him $10,000. I haven't seen her since. I'm calling the police. No. I have to. He attacked you. No, what if it makes him angrier? What if he takes down on Laurel? No, this is my problem. No one else can know. I just can't believe this, John, but thank you for calling. I appreciate it. Thanks. What exactly happened when you brought that box of stuff by my mother's? I don't know nothing. I didn't see her. The door's open, I went in. She left the door open? Yeah, she hauled it from the bedroom that she wasn't feeling well, so I just left the stuff in the entryway. Why? She's claiming you attacked her. What? God, you've come. Joan told you what he did to me? I'm not here to commiserate. I'm here to return this. It's my key to your house. I won't be needing it anymore. I love Ted, and I am going to marry him. Nothing you can do is going to stop that. All you've done is force me to choose between you. Laurel, look at me. I am black and blue. I tried to warn you, and now he's attacked me. Don't worry about the bruises. I saw Dr. Johnson, the plastic surgeon. You had your eyes done. 
Too bad you can't show them off at my wedding. Laurel, you walk out of here, you are out of my will. Cutting people off can go both ways. Don't make me do it. I'm not interested in your money. I never was. Laurel? Laurel? Can I help you with it? No, I think I'm... Ow! Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Here. No, it's under this. control. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, here. I'll get it. Here it is. There. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I just wish my family was here. I know, it's hard. Maybe these will help. Something old? They belong to my mother. She gave them to me. And I want you to have them. Oh. So pretty. Well, thank you so much. Really for everything. Oh, sure, sweetheart. I think uh, they're all waiting for you. It's time to go. Are you ready? Okay. Do you, Laurel, take Ted to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, for richer and for poor? Till death do you part? I do. And you, Ted? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> then, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. with room for all his relatives. Mm. Yeah, it's great. Oh, I'm sorry, honey, it didn't occur to me. Uh, no, let's just take that page silly. out. It's fine, no stop. It's a difficult time for you. We all understand. Thanks, so. Mom. Mm -hmm. Hey, you two, where am I gonna find right. her? <laughs> 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 all right, what's next? This was much harder than I thought it was going to be. I know.
debt? If I'm barging in where I'm not wanted, just tell me to go. No, never. Oh, let me look at you. Yeah. <laughs> you look more beautiful than ever. <laughs> How did you know? Well, Ted called. He said he thought it might be the right time to come, so I rushed right over. So, uh, just sit down. Mother misses you too. I never thought I'd be doing any of this without her. But what am I supposed to do if she won't accept Ted? What if she will? I mean, things are different now. You're having a baby, our first grandson. I don't know. All things she's said and done. I know your mother can be difficult. But believe me, her heart is breaking. Why don't you be a big person for. Call her. Tell her you miss her. Just don't rub her nose in it. Let her keep her pride. Huh? Might make you feel better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll make sure we stay at home in case you decide to call. I love you. Love you, too. bad for the first few months, but I'm better now. Just a little awkward. Awkward? It's an odd way to put it. I would have thought something stronger. Really? Oh. I thought you might want to see this. Pictures of my grandson? From the ultrasound. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me see. Well, let's see. This... Yes, this must be his... Head? <laughs> no. There's his head. See? He's smiling. <laughs> well, of course he is. He knows you've made the right decision. What decision? Honey, I know this isn't going to be easy, but we will be spending plenty of time together, and with my help, you'll be fine. Now, I've got something for you. What's this? I've asked around. He's the best. Why would I need a divorce attorney? Well... Your father told me how much you wanted to see me and how you were crying at your own shower. He led me to believe... I want to leave Ted? Well, he didn't say that in so many words. Laurel, you have lived with Ted long enough to know what he is really like. Now, I think with the baby... You have the most amazing way of twisting things in your own mind. Laurel? If you only knew how much I wanted this to work, how much I hoped you'd changed. <sighs> I thought you had come to your senses. I was wrong. It's my grandson I am worried for now. Don't think you're going to keep him from me. Given our current staff cutbacks, reports from citizens are invaluable. I realize it's my duty to help. It's just that it's such an awkward situation if he finds out. No, he won't. We're accustomed to protecting the privacy of the people who bring these cases to our attention. So, in your opinion, Mr. Rogers is pocketing how much in unreported cash? Since he and my daughter were married, I guess he hasn't paid taxes on uh, about 20, 30,000. You're sure? His spending habits are quite lavish. And I know that a great deal of cash passes through his business. Well, that'll be uh, easy enough to determine when we do the audit.
So, do you think this might be serious enough to send him to jail? Now, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. Never gonna get that in. It's gonna fit, I told Don't you. Fit. I measured it. Don't fit. Oh. Ah. <sighs> They're coming off a fast. Hang on. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Are you okay? Not on drive. It's called extension. Dearest Laurel. I want us all to be a family again. I was wrong. Please forgive me. My daughter's in labor. Well, her name? Laurel Rogers. Where is she? Mm -hmm. If you'll just sit down, I'll let them know you're here. No, I need to be with her. I'll be sure to tell them that. Mrs. Rogers, your mother's here. Oh, God, I can't deal with her now. I just can't, not right, now. Her, but she seems quite I don't care, not now. I'll take care of I'll talk to you, right? Okay? <laughs> Celeste. Oh, thank goodness. Let's hurry. Where is she? You can't go in there. Well, why not? She's my daughter. That's my grandchild. She doesn't want to see you. Not right now. Maybe later, after the baby's born, after she's had a chance to rest. Or maybe never, right? Isn't that what you'd like? Celeste, you're taking this all wrong. Ted, at least she's asking for you. Well, hi, Celeste. making too much of this. She didn't want to see you when she was in labor. That doesn't mean she never wants to see you. Yes, it does. You weren't there. You didn't see the smug look on his face. Awesome. I'll be at Sam's. Call me when the carpet cleaner's left. What do you think you're doing? Just looking. You're here to clean the carpets, not examine my art. I'm sorry, lady, really, I... How do I know you weren't going to take it? I'm going to have to report this. Come on, lady, don't say anything to my supervisor. Why? Please. Has this happened before? No, it's just that he'll... What? He'll have to tell my parole officer, okay? You've been in prison. Got some trouble a few years ago. If you say anything about this, it could set me back. Pack up your things. Meet me in the front hall. It's hey. a boy. Hey. Ah. Ah. Hey. I think I could be convinced not to say anything to your supervisor, and you could make some extra money. 
not sure I... Read it. You'll understand. I look forward to hearing from you. someone who doesn't deserve to live I'll pay ten thousand dollars I mean this guy killed your sister's kid in New Jersey she's a widow I'd gone to help her out and one day, when I went to pick up her little girl after school, I got there just in time to see him dragging her into his car. What about the police? They couldn't find him? They did. But someone lied for him, gave him an airtight alibi. I had to... Uh... I had to identify my niece's body. Her head was... Excuse me. Her head was mutilated with a hammer. I didn't sleep for months. The police said if we wanted anything done, we'd have to handle it ourselves, so my sister spent her life savings on a detective. But, but they found the man right here in town. How do you want it done? Fast. A gunshot in the head. Make it look like a drug deal gone bad. His office is the perfect setup for a dealer. No one can be seen coming or going. You sound pretty sure about all this. I am. Will you help me? No. Well, then why am I wasting my time? But there's this guy. I met him inside. thousand bucks besides whatever you give him and I need detailed information do you have a picture of this guy oh, yes. right here I don't know how we're gonna make this work I really don't you know we still need another 10,000 for the new wing on the hospital well I say we do a Monte Carlo night George and I were just there, and I know exactly how to set it up. Perfect. We'll leave the ticket sales to Celeste. She can sell snow to the Eskimos. <laughs> Hello. You're here right now? Up front? Well, can't you, um... All right, all right, I'll be right there. What did you order? Nothing. It was. We had a glitch. Open it up. I am. It's a bear. Now, uh, I normally wouldn't do a job like this with someone I don't know. You understand what I'm saying? But Bert here vouched for you. Oh, I appreciate that. That's why I'm hiring a professional. I want whoever does this to be extremely careful. As careful as I am. Now, destroy this before you do the job. 
Now, this is his office. And there's no exit or entry except on this little street here. And the people in the other buildings can't see who comes or goes. And his hours are? He works Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. How much cash does he keep there? Oh, not enough to make it look like a robbery. I want the police to find drugs. So you think they'll figure it was a drug deal gone bad? If you do it right. And every time I do a job, I buy a new gun. See, I never use the same piece twice. And for this, uh, for this, I'll be working with another guy. So I need a thousand up front to take care of everything. All right. I want you to shoot him in the head. When you walk out, I want him dead, not just wounded. Oh, I'll make sure it's done right. Now, uh, understand, once we leave here tonight, there's no turning back. Oh, I won't change my mind. <laughs> you gonna stay this cool if the police question you? I'm a well-known woman, prominent in the community. Who would think I had anything to do with it? But what if they do? If well, they dig up your sister's case while investigating and tie it into you? Well, do it in the morning. I have an exercise class at 9 a.m. I, I can't very well have done it if I'm in the gym now, can I? What about the other 9,000? Well, when I have proof that he's dead, and I see the story published in the papers, I'll pay you the rest. Just call me and say, the carpet's been cleaned. That's all I need to hear. Yeah. No problem. Any questions? No, I think everything is pretty well covered, so, uh, you know, that's it. Good. Oh, 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 how soon? Soon. Soon. Dearest Laurel, congratulations, sweetheart, love, mother. What is some bear? Of course it is. It's from my mother. Well, maybe she's finally coming around. I don't know. She came to the hospital and you never called her. Maybe now's the time. No, something about this just doesn't seem right. <laughs>
Look, um, I got a wife and a new kid, okay? So you guys just, you just take whatever you want, right? Shut up! Come on, move! Move! Hey, they're ready for you in the cath lab. Come on. Come on, move! 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 Let's go! Let's move. Come on, let's go. Move it. Move. I'll call the bank, all right? They're going to give you all the cash I got. Look. Shut up. I don't want your money. Hey, what are you guys doing? Get in. Get in. Look, you don't want to do this. Shut up. Shut up. talked about the other day. Well, as soon as I see the story in the papers... No, I'll... no, 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 no. I, I'm getting out of town. I'm not waiting around for any newspapers. I need verification. You call the morgue the county medical examiners. Hell, you're a smart lady. You think of something to tell them. I appreciate your point of view, Lowell. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to accommodate you. Yeah, you do that. Supervisor Yamazaki, can I help you? This is Sergeant Brolin, County Sheriff's Department. I'm inquiring about the remains of a Ted Rogers. We've been told they were delivered to you this morning. Yeah, I came out a few minutes ago. Cause of death, multiple gunshot wounds. I'm going to get to him this afternoon. We're trying to match him with an attempted rape case we have on file. Can you give me a description? Yeah, hold on. 5'11", 180, brown hair, blue eyes. Any distinguishing marks? He's got a small scar on his left knee. That fits our description. Thank you. for a moment in private, please. Well, where's Ted? What's happening? Ted's fine, Ted. Everything's okay. Ted's fine. I, uh, had a conversation with your mother last week, and she hired me to kill your husband. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's it. Hey, hey. Hello? You checked to see if the job is finished? Oh, yes. The coroner's office assured me your work was very thorough. I've gone ahead with the other arrangements we discussed. So I'll see you at the Snell Grove parking lot? Mm hmm Tomorrow? Mm-hmm. 12 o'clock? Sure will. Luckily, she had the wrong guy. We got Ted in a safe place. Don't worry, he's fine. He's OK. I got him on the line for you. Ted? Are you okay? Yeah, I am now. Oh, man, they did everything they could to make this thing look real. 
We were afraid that she was, she was gonna have somebody watching. I can't believe she'd go this far. Want to hire a hitman? Yeah, well, they play me the tapes. What if the guy she tried to hire hadn't gone to the police? But he did. Hey, don't worry about me. I got more bodyguards here than the president. When can I see you? I don't know. Um, I guess as soon as they arrest her. Are you okay? I love you. I love you too. Listen, they're telling me I gotta hang up now. Hey, kiss Stephen for me, okay? I love you guys. I love you too. Bye. Mrs. Rogers, you need to start making phone calls, man. Tell my family and friends that Ted is dead. Now, we gotta make this look good until she makes the payoff. Hello? What is it, Joan? Oh, my God. Mother's here. She's walking up the driveway. I can't do it. Oh, here you can. Do that. Now, she's probably here to make sure she's not a suspect. Uh, if I blow it. You want? Now, do you want her to get away with this? Go ahead. I don't have a single solid lead. They found uh, cocaine in Ted's office, so they think it has something to do with drugs. That's not Ted. It's just so hard even thinking about it. Oh, I know. I know, sweetheart. And until you're feeling better, Daddy and I would love nothing better than to help you take care of our grandson. I just put him down. Would it be too much to ask if I could take a peek? I could take away your pain. You know I would if I could. Just remember that time heals all wounds. I promise. Maybe we should let him sleep. Good night, sweetheart. Uh, tough, but you did a good job. Now let's pray that she spills a gust tomorrow and gives us enough to convict her. Just make sure you get it on tape.
back there. Wait a second. Got her. So is your sister satisfied? Oh, she's satisfied. I'm satisfied. Everybody's happy except... Except... <laughs> the one that's in the morgue. <laughs> no. No, I don't... I don't think he's too happy. <laughs> no, he's not too happy. <laughs> oh. Did anybody see you? No. Nobody was around. Hmm. And the cocaine, did it look like it was a plant? No. See, it looked like he was involved, so that's why he's dead. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay. We're losing it. Well, do something. We're losing it. Uh, CB, yeah, Jeep right I'm there. What? Did you steal any jewelry? No, I didn't take anything. Any money? Look, this is strictly business. I'm not looking to make anything extra here. Mm -hmm. And the gun, what did you do with the gun? I got rid of it when nobody can put their hands on it. What about now? No, no, no. nothing. Still nothing. What about now? No. No? And whose car did you use? Were you careful about the plates? Look, lady, I rented the car. I stole the plates. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I can see that. And I'm glad. Sweet screaming Jersey, lady. You are very, very cautious. Good. All right. We're clear. Everything. You got him. Is in order. Come on, Tommy. I haven't paid him yet. See, you can't be too cautious at a time like this. So here, I want you to count it because I want you to be sure. Each bundle a thousand? Nine bundles. Each bundle's a thousand. Bingo. Let's check and make sure we got everybody here. All the president's men. Now, I am going to keep this to myself. I hope you do, too. Lady, I wouldn't be in business as long as I am. Now, I have never met you. I don't know you. I will stick to that story till the day I die. Okay. See, too many times people confide in a friend or a girlfriend or a guy will go into a bar and he'll talk to a girl. And, you know, a lot of those girls are cops. You don't know who you can trust. No, you can't be too careful. You know any cops around here? No, I don't. Not in this area. Huh? Yeah, you do. <laughs> you lying bastard. Step out of the car, please, ma'am. Ma'am, please, would you step out of the car? Please, get out of the car! Thank you! Yeah, give me that. No idea. Put your hands on your head. I think we do. Interlock your fingers. Interlock your fingers. If you can. All right. I need to call my lawyer. Attorney will be pointed for you. Lawyer will be very upset about this. Ladies, right here. Anything you can say, call me. We'll be able to get you settled down. Do you understand these rights I just recited to you? Who's going to take my Thanks, guys. What about right. my purse? I need to call my lawyer. Don't be my we'll purse. We'll be very sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Very sorry you did this. Here it comes. Here it comes.
to arrive here at any moment now. This is a bail hearing for a woman who has been described as the world's worst mother-in-law. It is scheduled to begin just as soon as Mrs. Cooper arrives. She is here. Let's see if we can ask her a question. Mrs. Cooper, how will you plead? Innocent. The only thing I'm guilty of is protecting my daughter. Protecting her from what, ma'am? Her husband. He's a liar, an abuser, a wife beater. He even beat me. So are you telling us you had no choice? I'm telling you that I love my daughter and my grandson with all my heart, and their lives were in danger. I couldn't bear the thought of finding them dead one day because she couldn't or wouldn't listen to me. I did what any loving mother would do. But according to your daughter, ma'am, there was never a problem. What abused woman admits to the truth? It's not too late to tell them, sweetheart. Tell them, Laurel. Tell them I did it all for you. Goodbye, Mother. That's okay, she's just confused. <sighs> when this is over, she'll know I was right. And everything will be back to normal. Everything will be normal again. <laughs>